welcome to our time together for these few minutes. We've made it to the end of the week and I hope that you have some time of rest and restoration on your schedule for the weekend. But before we get to that, let's take care of these moments right here in the here and the now. So I would invite you just to settle in wherever you are, just get into a comfortable spot, seated or lying down, whatever feels right for you. And then let's just gently close our eyes. Be careful not to squeeze them too tight, but just allow them just to close softly. And as the eyes softly close, just kind of go down the body from there and soften each part. So looking and feeling into that jaw, just soften it and let the tension go. And then shifting your mind's eye down through your neck and your shoulders and just softening right there. Check your hands. If there's any tension, if they're clenched, if they're tight, just allow them just to lay there open, light. And then shift the awareness, the mind's eye down a little more into your chest and your heart, the muscles around your back and your ribs. And so just allow your whole torso from the top of your head all the way through to your belly button. Just let everything relax. Just notice how you just kind of sink into that seat where you are just a little more. And then let's take a long, slow breath in together. And exhale, let it go. Slow breath in together. Exhale, let it go. One more, slow breath in. And as you exhale, relax into that spot just a little bit more. Really feel the way the seat or the couch or the ground, wherever you are, the cushion, how it's just kind of holding you in that space. Feel the stability. And through the stability, feel the security and the safety of it all. And for these few minutes that we have together, our focus is going to be affirmations. We've made it through a week where we've had a big giant full moon and so much stuff happening energetically and we're headed toward in the coming days, this change in the seasons. First, the time will change this weekend and then the week to follow, we'll have the spring equinox. So I'd like for us to go into these seasonal changes with affirmations in the center of our mind. And as many of you may know, affirmations are, they're not anything magical or special about the words. It's just the idea of stating something positively. And when you state those kind of things often enough, you actually begin to believe that they are true. So what I would invite you to do, and I'm gonna do it as well, I'd like for you to think of the last person that you affirmed, the last person that you told that they did something well. It may have been today. It may have been the last few days. It could be your spouse, your child, your coworker, your sibling, your dear friend. It could even be a stranger working in some customer service type position at a restaurant, in a coffee shop, wherever you are. So just think, whom have I affirmed, told them that they were doing well recently? And then I would propose that we just kind of think of how does it make you feel when you tell someone something like that? It's not so much a compliment about how nice someone's hair looks or how pleasant their smile is, but it's a true noticing of something that they've done, an act that they followed through with, an intention that they set and they did, a responsibility that they took, and you noticed. So when you affirm someone, that's what you're doing. You're noticing. And whether we know it or not, after we do that for someone, 
this little seed gets planted inside of them. And then the next time someone comes along and affirms them again, that seed begins to take root. And again and again, it grows each time they receive words that state the value of what they've done and that someone noticed. But we also know on the counter side of that, when someone is critical, it's like we've cast this dark shadow over that little plant that we tried to have of goodness and light. And it kind of withers away. People's spirits begin to shrink. There's so much power in our interactions that we have with one another. Sometimes we know it, sometimes we don't even realize it. But I'd like us just to really think about the fact that for as much as words of criticism hurt, words of affirmation bring life back. So as you saw the face of the person that you've affirmed and built up lately, now I'd like us to shift. And I'd like to ask you a question that may not be as easy as the first. When is the last time, if ever, you've affirmed yourself? And I know maybe on the surface it sounds a little odd of, how do I do that? How do I tell myself good job? But I guarantee you, you can remember criticizing yourself. You can remember looking in a mirror and thinking words that were not kind about yourself. You can remember saying words that focused on a mistake or a missed step. So why is it that it's so easy for us to criticize ourselves, but not as easy for us to affirm ourselves? I'd like to propose that it is just as easy. Same way it comes when we give it to someone else. It's just as easy. It just takes intention. It takes noticing. I just had a person, not even two hours ago, that I was meeting with. And we were talking about her meditation practice and it's a new thing for her. And she said, Kelly, I'm sorry. I feel like I can only do the five minute ones. The 15 minute ones, I just, I can't stay focused. And I said to her, before we started, how many minutes were you meditating? And she said, well, none. I said, you've gone from zero to five. That's saying something. And I watched her face with those words and she truly had never considered it that way. She'd set a benchmark for herself that she thought she was failing at. But we reframed it for just a second and all of a sudden she smiled and she's like, you know what? Five minutes is a lot. And I can't believe I'm doing it so consistently now. So y'all, it just takes intention and reframing. So we're gonna do this together across our next few minutes. I'd like to share just some affirmation stems, like a sentence that's missing a word or two. And wherever that blank is for each of us, just fill in something that you could say to yourself. So take the words that I give you and where there's a space or a blank, fill in something about yourself. And usually when I say things and I have you repeat them, I won't wait but just a few seconds and then we'll go to the next one. But I'm going to pause this time because I know it's not easy at first. It doesn't come naturally. But think about back to the days before you ever started meditating and then all of a sudden you did. It didn't come naturally. You had to practice. So maybe we practice affirming ourself as well. So just continue to breathe in nice and slowly. And there's just three of them. And our first one says, I am proud of myself for, 
and you fill in your own blank. I am proud of myself for And just continue to breathe and wait and see what comes. And then the next one says, I really appreciate blank about myself. I really appreciate blank. You fill it in about myself. And finally, this one doesn't have a blank for you to fill in. It's just a statement for you to repeat, maybe in your heart, in your head. Maybe you say it out loud audibly where you are. Maybe you let my words just hold space and say it for you. But I'm going to say this one a few times and see if it resonates. And if you can make it your truth as well. I believe I am good. And I have so many gifts that the world needs. I believe that I am good and that I have so many gifts that the world needs. I believe that I am good and I have so many gifts that the world needs. So let's just sit for just the next little bit in quiet. And what I'd like for each of us to do is if your mind tries to wander, recall the reflection of your face in the mirror. See that. See it with pride. See it with appreciation. See it with eyes that realize there's gifts in that person that the world needs. And now let's just sit together. Slow breaths in and out. Just continue to sit or lie there with your eyes closed, but let's bring our attention back to the space in this moment that we're sharing. And I want to just give you one example as we get ready to close our time. Y'all, these affirmations don't have to be big giant acts or things that we've done. They can be the tiniest things in the moment. And I want to give you my example and just share one of mine that I said while we were saying them together to show you that as we celebrate the little things, it truly becomes a habit for us. So for my statement that I wanna share with you of how I'm proud, I said, I am proud of myself for not letting my really packed day to day where I had to be on and focused on others for so many hours. I'm really proud of myself for not letting it cause my spirit to become agitated as it used to many years ago. So tiny. I had a packed schedule today. And usually, in years past, 
it would have caused agitation, my patience would have been short, my tolerance would have been almost gone, and I would have been sharp with my words. And I sat here for a few minutes tonight around about six o'clock and I thought, I navigated this day with grace and ease and I'm proud of myself for doing it. So it doesn't have to be a big act. Notice the little wins in your day. Create a mindset of affirming yourself and when you do that often enough, you'll start to believe that last sentence that says, I believe I am good and have so many gifts that this world needs. Namaste.